hell is this? That is a microphone. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another very special episode of the TMG Investigation Team, colloquially known as TIT. It's a big word, because I'm a big man. Now, today we've got a lot of cases, and more importantly, two very special detectives joining our work. I had to pull a couple of my boys from the Pacific Blue Division, Detectives Chad and JT. Sharp eyes, sharp bodies, and very sharp brains. Welcome to the office, boys. Hey, it's good to see you. <laughs> good to see you, boys. I'm going to put my team. shooter on the table. <laughs> you never know at these TMG studios who's going to come in and you have to <laughs> blow their dick shoot off. Shoot them? You got to shoot their dicks off. You heard my man. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't hesitate and he won't hesitate the next time either. That's right. I shoot right for the bell end so you can still use <laughs> the shaft. Yeah, we're humans. We're nice. <laughs> so you hear that? That's how they do it down there in the Pacific Blue. Only for the balls. Mm-hmm. Only. Now, we go ahead. We've got a lot of cases, mm-hmm. and I'm not sure where we should start. Um, Fellas, thanks for bringing us in on these. We appreciate the extra work. Of course. You know these are good contracts. Are we doing the voice the whole time? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funnier to not know. Okay, yeah. So yeah. we can just be awkward I just about can't it. The whole that was a good it, question. So. Yeah, yeah, that was a good question. I just want to make sure I just <laughs> yeah. get that out We have front freedom to so move know. to operate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we can switch back and forth. Yeah. And we're all cool with that. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, okay, I'll stick great. The voice for Great. <laughs> <laughs> Case number one, Noel. We've got some real barn burners here today. Case number one, the missing Monaco diamond. Mm. In the new millennium, for the rich and powerful, money was free flowing. The Monaco Grand Prix, by far the glitziest race on the calendar. As part of a sponsorship deal with the movie, the promoters and the F1 Jaguar team made the absolutely baffling joint decision to run two F1 cars that race with a diamond set into the front nose of each car. Each car was piloted by Mark Webber and Christian Klein. Mark Webber famously shitting himself in the Japan Grand Prix. <laughs> that's true. That's the guy who, or that's the guy who was like, I've got vomiting. <laughs> really? That was I'm him? pretty sure. Yeah. Legend. Fact check that, please. Love that. On a track perhaps best known for claiming the front end of Formula One cars, Christian Klein was tearing around Monte Carlo, diamond strapped to his front wing on Thursday practice. The diamond on Klein's car lasted all of one lap. He lost the car going into Lowe's, plowing headfirst into the barrier on the opening lap. The diamond, supplied by Steinmetz, survived the wreck, even though the nose cone it was embedded in disintegrated. What happened to it after it remains a complete mystery. Jaguar team officials weren't allowed on the track until two hours after the race due to safety regulations, during which it was likely picked up in a very, very lucky circumstance by a marshal, or it's maybe now embedded, in the tire wall. Either way, it was never to be found. How did they know it survived? That's Diamonds are forever, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess it could survive anything. Yeah. Yeah, they're something. hard as fuck. Yeah. But, like, did they see it? Or That's it was never to be found. I, I want to know how big the diamond is first. It's 430 grand. That's what it was worth. Per diamond? So what? It's like the size of a quarter? I think that's bigger than that, uh, isn't it? The diamond's bigger than a quarter? Yeah. A $430,000 diamond? Well, can't a $430,000 diamond be like the size of my pinky nail? 
Oh yeah, it just depends on the uh, the, the purity of the yeah, diamond, the clarity, the oh, clarity, really? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was based just on size. That's true. <laughs> Bigger the better. I I think he's right. Yeah, I'd like a diamond that costs. I want a big one. <laughs> I'm looking for a meal. <laughs> Wait, so they they put they just put a diamond on the front of the car. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the dumbest Not thing I've ever heard. No, <laughs> like how did they strap like, it? Just put this in this. Yeah. How did they strap it to the? That's what I want. Just with know. like with like zip ties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, this like, honestly, this would be fire, dude. Damn, they're about to roll out. It's just a dude with Elmer's. No, we're solid. <laughs> this is chill. Now, can we see it like an actual close up image? Because I'm curious. That really is a dumbass idea. Who would even volunteer a million worth of diamonds to just stick on a car? Well, it, it was uh, Steinmetz. Steinmetz. Of uh. course. No, but Steinmetz, he's not the crapper. What do you mean? Christian the guy Vom- who shit himself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I think vomitor is the more appropriate. Oh, copy that. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks pretty sick, actually. It's a square cut. Whoa. Dude, you're right on the diamond size. That's, That's big. That's big as fuck. That's big. Yeah. And that looks pretty cool. Yeah, Doesn't it, it does. It does look cool. Like I understand why they did it now. Yeah, yeah. ice cube but on the front. Yeah. Isn't the race car? Isn't it all about weight? It is. You know, with that weigh the car down a little bit. So they had to slack a little to. Yeah, they had to cut somewhere to get that thing in there. Damn. Well, riddle me this: Who would profit from having a four hundred thirty thousand dollar diamond besides everybody? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very true. Very true. Who could benefit from a four hundred thirty thousand dollar diamond? How do you sell that? I mean, if you steal it. I guess you don't need to sell it. Right? I was looking into like no, you, art thieves. You should probably, s- if you steal it. I mean, I, if, I'm just assuming someone like walking down the street maybe found it. Mm. Wow! If you found that, you would have to sell it, or give it to your girlfriend. Oh, like what if it was a poor pauper boy who had never been able to afford anything nice for his lady? Then he finds his four hundred thirty thousand dollar rock. First thing he does is he goes home to Esmeralda and says, "Here's your emerald, my girl." <laughs> but it's about, it's about an engagement <laughs> ring. <laughs> Damn. She's wearing that shit on her it's finger. They take, a, her they take like an Instagram photo. Yeah. <laughs> She's just holding it. She's fisting finger it. Finger is yeah. like limp like this. Yeah. Strap that shit to brass knuckles, dude. <laughs> I think I think he crashed. He probably got out of the car and was like, oh fuck. And then and then was like, wait a minute, took the diamond, shoved it up his ass. Oh, yeah. And then Whoa. was like, dude, it fell out. Ah. Oh, Fuck! Like when the people got there, and he was they like, frisked him. You no guys, you won't butt. believe what happened. Damn. He's just all stiff. Yeah. I don't, <laughs> damn. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Yeah, sorry, my lower back's a little messed up from the crash. <sighs> but that's crazy. Kind of fucked how they well, did here, that. Well, here, relax. Take a seat. No. <laughs> uh. No, I was sitting in the car for so long. Yeah, stretch your legs. That makes. Yeah, sense. yeah. I'm down to just stretch. But you only did one lap. Whoa. You're going pretty quick, you know. He's so. like, he's like, glad you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you oh. dropped your racing band. Do you want to pick that up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn! If you, if you put a diamond in your ass, does it turn back into coal? <laughs> <laughs> Depending on your cleanliness, yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> like, oh wise. fuck, dude! That, yeah. I didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You go to sell it. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Aww. <laughs> damn. <laughs> I get like in a crash. <clears throat> yeah, I would. I would imagine. It probably just. I feel like it must have launched. Just got jettisoned somewhere. Yeah. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and just landed in so, like killed somebody. No, I think. Oh yeah, I think know. it could have been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was messed. Like up. it's still there to be found if someone yeah. wanted to find it. That or maybe just someone you know happenstance walking down the street. They just hear, <laughs> and then oh, oh, is this the corner? Foul ball. That's that the crash. It? That was the crash. That lost the diamond. That the plot thickens. No. I wouldn't call that a crash. What if you could just, what if you could see it right here? What if the, I would like, say he that parked. first dude was like, he just leaned over like, wait, wait, it wait. was that guy. <laughs> Hold on a second. That looked purposeful. <laughs> yeah, it kind of did. Just, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. was the plan for the driver from the beginning. I can see it now. <laughs> They're like, Mark or Klein, <laughs> Klein uh, just, just take it easy. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Do we have any audio recordings from the yeah. driver? Like from the cockpit? <laughs> I mean, he what lost he was like, his Oh, seat. wait. No, wait. I've lost control. Dude, turn the car. I'm like, dude, you're... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just turn. Yeah. Just turn the car. I, I can't. Oh. Something I'm... I'm s- my hands are sweaty. <laughs> oh. Oops. Yeah, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah, is there any uh, radio? Probably not. 
I feel like this whole thing's a cover up, dude. Yeah. Yeah, this is some I mean, that's act- suspicious. Some- that's smelly as shit, man. There's gotta yeah. be some insurance fraud here. Or did he lose his seat at the end of the season? He's like, I don't want to leave this thing empty handed. I need something to keep ah. myself, you know, looked after. Yeah, when, when when was Klein's last season? Let's look that up. This is worth reading this paragraph. Oh, okay. The diamond supplied by diamond trader Steinmetz, their CEO, was detained in a fraud investigation back in 2017. Whoa. Okay. That's a huge piece of information. So make of that what you will. An incredibly uninsured naturally survived the wreck, even as the carbon fiber nose cone, it was embedded in quite literally disintegrated around it. What happened to it after, however, remains a complete mystery. What? Jaguar yep. team officials weren't allowed on the track until two hours after the race due to safety regulations. That was what we read at the beginning. Oh, yeah. yeah. We I read love that. that two hours. Now we have a ticking clock. Like, now we can go in reverse, <clears throat> like, looking back on it as, like, a film, like, flashback and yeah. be like, who was on the track in those two hours? That's when the crime happened. Yeah. This is definitely, definitely 1,000% insurance related. You think? Yes, right. dude. Steinmetz, their fucking quarterly revenue wasn't high enough. The guy said, this is great. He probably talked to the head of F1 and was like, let's do this. Let's lose the diamond. It's insured and we'll split the... We'll split. Oh. And no one gets hurt, or so they thought. And so, or so they thought. Well, it says that it disintegrated, but given that Im- impact... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind of a big word yeah, for I was that like, type of crash. I thought, I thought it like blew up, yeah. and they're like, but the diamond was left. <laughs> but he just like sort of tapped it, and they're like, oh, Oh my God! <laughs> Damn, a marshal just standing in front of that like divot where the nose went in. They're like, we need to get in there. They're like, no, no, no. It's kind of dangerous. Your hand might get stuck. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Things are disintegrating. Yeah, in there. I'd be very careful. It's like a black hole. Your hand might disappear. I would. I would just. I would just go. Yeah. I would just yeah. go. <laughs> Carry on. Yeah, dude. Yep. Insurance fraud. I think, I think we closed it. Solved. I think, I think this is right. case closed. Yeah. yeah. I think another, yeah, we ca- we close it. It's case closed. So. I think it's uh, I think it's up the guy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> it was Steinman. Yeah. I think Steinman the driver put it up his up ass, up his and that's, that's case closed. I think we I think we solved it. <laughs> nice work, <laughs> fellas. We need to get the Steinmetz guy in here and ask him to stand up or turn around. <laughs> yeah, it's still up his ass. He's yeah, it's still there. Sleep. Yeah, twenty years later, you yeah. can't really get like a doctor or anyone to get it out because then they would know. Yeah, yeah was it worth it? So what's he doing? What's he? How's he gonna? We can we can pose as colonoscopists and just friggin' put That's the camera in there. Oh, and scam the scammer. Yeah, yeah. Be like, hey, we're doctors, and just throw a camera in his ass and be like, wow, it's shiny. How crazy would that be to just hook him up to a fucking a colonoscopy in, the, in that little tank? You just see like shit and then a diamond go through. Diamond in his <laughs> rectum. <laughs> and then we all just take the doctor smocks off. You're under arrest. <laughs> oh, you pesky kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You've gotten me with this colonoscopy. I'm a bit of a romantic too. Maybe he's still got it up his butt because he's waiting to propose and he's just waiting for the right moment to just drop it out of his ass oh, and shit. be like, what's up, honey? Yeah. Or get on his back and put his legs over his head and just <laughs> fire it out. Damn. Just at her. straight at her. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm just thinking he gets on his knees like, babe. Babe. And then turns around. No, dude. <laughs> he just. Oh, it just drops. Yeah. Are you pooing? Ding! Honey, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, babe. Don't poo again. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that thing you do. Yeah. I'm going to need some magnesium. <laughs> Case closed, man. Case closed. That was a good one. Good work, fellas. Diamond and, and Steinmetz ass. Nice. Who's up next on the docket? <laughs> yeah. Ow! All right. The it next, was fake! <laughs> the next one is... Actually, this one's like a like a has a bit of a through line for us. It's kind of Ooh, important. That's sexy. So last time we talked about a man in Lake Tahoe. This is all real. Uh, the foot fondler, and he was breaking into people's hotel rooms and fondling feet. Oh, what a sick pervert! This was yeah. this July Fourth. Multiple people. This multiple, last one. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Multiple. They had multiple like complaints about this guy at a at a specific was, hotel. Dollars yeah. to donuts. He was wearing a tank top. <clears throat> well. <clears throat> I, yeah, I'd be willing to bet on that. Yeah. Like, he doesn't look like your typical perv, this guy. He looks like a beachgoer. Well, he may or may not, but he was caught. He was caught. They found him? They yeah. found him. That's Whoa. the update to the case. Do we now, know what he looks like? we discussed this last time. We closed this case. We solved it. Yeah. We did. Yeah. Since then, the, the authorities, other than us, <laughs> arrested the guy yeah. because we solved the case. Yeah. Right. And now, Bravo. so we just want to update the audience and, and you guys on who it was. Mark Anthony Gonzalez, 
26, dubbed the Lake Tahoe Foot Fondler, Mm -hmm. was taken into custody on Tuesday at his home in Atwater, California, on two counts of burglary and two counts of battery, the Douglas County Sheriff's Office said. Mr. Gonzalez is accused of entering two state line resort condominiums at the Club Wyndham South Shore Hotel through unlocked screen doors and rubbing the women's feet while they slept. Um, Forensic techniques were used to identify Gonzalez, which led them to connect him to a slew of crimes, including the theft of women's shoes. (laughs) This guy, dude. Trespassing and self-gratification during some of the incidents. All right. Nice. What, does that mean? what does self gratification mean? Yeah, yeah, good question. That's a good question. What does it mean? <laughs> is he just breaking into people's houses and looking at himself? Like, or just feeling good about yourself? Yeah. 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 Just <laughs> like self gratification. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, mirror, like, nice crime, dude. Yeah. I really <laughs> did crime. something today. These yeah. are nice shoes I took. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're the, you're the best at breaking and entering. I'm the th- I'm thankful to be you. <laughs> no, I think wow. There he is, yeah. dude. <laughs> That's always a, he's a bigger fella, and bigger fella like delicate things. <laughs> yeah. Big guys, they, they, it's, that's their way. They like they like something that's soft and gentle because they're like big and barely and strong. You know? <laughs> Is that how it works? I don't know. <laughs> no, that's a, a detective. Buy. I got to take swings. <laughs> yeah. no, he has that's... kind eyes. He looks sad. <laughs> does he look sad? Yeah, or is he, looks he, like, sad. Is he just more like, fuck, kind dude, my eyes. days of feet fondly are dead. Like, <laughs> yeah, <it's> yeah. over. <laughs> I had a good weekend. It was worth it. I'm, I'm just stuck on his hair. It, it doesn't look real. No, that's a wig he stole from some lady. Yeah. Do you think he could appeal based on kink shaming? Oh, yeah. He's like, oh, that's good my kink. question. Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. It's my kink. Dude, that's yeah. a good opportunity for the lawyer. Who here has not had a weird, pervy feeling that they wanted to live out, <laughs> to do, to feel full? Anyone on this jury? <laughs> Someone in the jury just starting to reach in their pants? You're damn right. Hey, no self-gratification. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> You've never looked at your wife's lingerie and thought, how would it look on my chest? <laughs> <laughs> One juror just puts his head down. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> So yeah, this is a this is this case is now it was closed, but now it's closed. It's reclosed. Yeah, it's reclosed. Yeah. Nice work, authorities. And who did you close it on? We reasoned the it was a retired Wiki- shoe salesman just trying to get his oh, trying to get his vi- right. yeah his vibe back. You right, because AI is going to take his spot. Yeah, I mean I, Amazon already did. No, yeah. no one, no lady walks in and goes, "I'm not sure if I'm a," and he's like, "I know, dude." I That's know. crazy. You know, it doesn't happen anymore. You don't get you don't to, go, like you used to go to shoe stores and you put your little foot on the thing. Yeah. And they, adjust, they find your size. Dude, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. It's just not a thing anymore. It always tickled. Everyone buys yeah. shoes on, you know, Zappos. Do you think the guy who started Foot Locker had a foot fetish? He's or like, a yeah. jersey fetish. Oh, dude. Or a referee jersey fetish. <laughs> yeah. A ref fetish. A ref fetish. Yeah. 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 A ref fetish. <laughs> just all around. He's a, he'd love to win like a girl, be like, that's a foul. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <He's> like, <"Arr." laughs> well, the ref, you're blowing the game. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I wish you'd blow my game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can give me a penalty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, hey, say, say, bud, what are you going to do with the shoes after the game's over? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've been running around a lot. Those things are going to stink, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> You probably just want to like discard them, right? I could probably take those from. Yeah, the Foot Locker guy owns a football team. He's yeah. like, throw all those shoes in a bag, guys. I'll get you new ones next <laughs> week. Like, guys, this is a shoe bin, so toss all your shoes in here. And <laughs> no, I like my shoes. Well, why don't we get those off? Yeah, for you, buddy? Yeah, yeah, we'll get you new ones, dude. It's cool. Yeah, we'll get you new ones. That's the Foot Locker, man. Yeah, yeah. Just going in there with a pile of shoes, just fucking. <laughs> Ooh. Like Scrooge McDuck's money, but it's just shoes. He's yeah. just swimming in it. Okay, all right, all right. Just Brampton Foot Locker. Whoa, dude, <laughs> Luke. Wait, what was that? A Brampton Foot Locker employee accused of beating, yeah, beating Ejaculating off Ejaculating in into shoes at work. <laughs> was that the same guy? That guy's just got to go, dude. <laughs> we got to get him out dude, of there. The crunchy shoe bandit. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, I had to do it, dude. dude. I had to do it. Oh, my dude, God. God. You try some shoes it. on, you're like, the soles are really hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, did Why you bust the in these shoes, dude? Up, be yeah. honest with me. Just <laughs> <laughs> What was the science experiment for him? He's just trying to see if it's possible, you know? Dude. He's he's done socks. He's like, can I do a shoe? Yeah, yeah. Dude, what, yeah. it, what if it's fresh and the guy gets in his shoes and he slips? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Goes right oh, in. Oh, these shoes are <laughs> slimy. Jeez. <laughs> Why did I slip? Such a simple. Someone jizzed in these for are sure. These soap, <laughs> are these soap shoes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. When are you guys jizzed in these? I know you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
someone here. Come on, quit, t- <laughs> quit fucking around. These shoes are soaked in cum. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know that? A lot more cum than usual in these <laughs> shoes, guys. I got to be honest. I'm not the kind of guy to leave a review, but I might. Yeah. The guy takes out the shoes and cum. <laughs> it yeah. smells like cum. It's cum. Come on. I never Damn. smell anywhere. It's good cum talk. Now I'm just thinking about it, just a world where some guy's oblivious and the shoes have always been nutted in when he goes to that foot locker. Mm-hmm. So he's like, <laughs> like he takes his buddy, he's like, oh, this is the best foot locker. The shoes go on <laughs> so easy. Yeah. And so I was like, why is there cum in these? <laughs> yeah, you don't even like, need that thing to yeah, help your foot yeah. get in the shoe. Yeah, I've never needed a shoehorn here. I just go right in. Yeah. You think Tom's are comfy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just wait till you try on these shoes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you should be suspicious if a Jordan goes on like real easy because those are like, the structure of those shoes is very, you know, takes a second. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway. I think we reclosed this one. <clears throat> I, think we so- at- I think we solved it. All right, it's got it- to the bottom of a yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, I think we, is it fu- I think we did. Is it Figured. fucked up for me to say, like, if you woke up and that dude was rubbing your feet, <laughs> are you that afraid? Yes, dude. I don't know if afraid's the word, but I'm something other than comfortable. Yeah. Can I tell you, like, we, we were commenting on the hair before, but it's, like, unbelievably well-kempt. It is. It's, yeah. like, very clean. Yeah. Very, like, voluminous. Pantene. I think I'm he's a high hygiene guy. Like, I think he's taking care of himself, like, soap, shampoo, condition, the whole thing. Like, honestly, is if you wake up and in the moonlight, it's just this face. Maybe it's with like, a smile. Yeah, and it's just kind of... Yeah, like, yeah, well, you know what? Yeah, like, the husband woke up first and he's week. like, come on, dude, cut it out. <laughs> 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 he's like, dude, that's not cool, man. Yeah, buzz off, dude. <laughs> yeah. He has a whole briefcase. Get your stuff. Like, <laughs> dude, uh, come on. Yeah, he's just fucking just flicking it open, lotions and creams and shit. Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's got his suitcase. You want me to go? Yeah. Okay, I'll go. And he's just loading <laughs> it up. He's like, all right. All right, fine. Yeah, the, guy, the guy's insecure. He's like talking to his girlfriend. He's like, did you enjoy that foot massage you gave you? She's like, babe, what? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like, you can be honest if you liked it. I, I won't fucking care. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't well, fucking give a shit. It. It's fine. He's like foot weird massage. looking. Like, I don't, why would I give a shit? But did you, do you, would you want someone to do that to you? <laughs> like more as he's leaving uh, heads up I came in your shoes <laughs> <Head up. laughs> that's fine I'll take off by the way I just busted a nut in your shoes yeah, yeah. oh they're crunchy <laughs> crunchy shoe bandit man so how many how many years is he about to do 20 well he's uh, he's being held at the Mer- Merced 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 County Jail on a fugitive warrant and a $50,000 bond whoa we should bail him out no Whoa, that's crazy. Get him on the show. That'd be, dude. Why did you do that, bro? Just keep him under the desk rubbing y'all's feet. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> you guys will be relaxed, bro. You guys will be feeling good. Oh, this yeah. episode's like going... <laughs> yeah, yeah. He'd be so happy under there, dude. Yeah. He'd be living just the dream, bro. Cave. Yeah. yeah. Just like a glory hole for feet. <laughs> yeah. No, this is yeah, this He's is a Foot Locker right I'll here. I'll stay here all day. <laughs> that's the Foot Locker, so Just man. bring me my food in a bowl and I'll stay under here all day. This dude's trying to go to jail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, I was thinking about that. So is jail a bummer for him? Because like, I got to imagine there's dudes in jail who'd be cool with him touching feet, but he probably wants it to be like, he needs the B and E component for it to feel yeah. fulfilling. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think you solved it. <laughs> yeah. The B and E component. B and E component. <laughs> <about that>. yeah. <laughs> Sounded technical. Yeah. Well, I was thinking about it pretty granularly. I was like, all right, what kind of like pervert is he? Because <laughs> if you're a pervert with multiple different things that got to come together for the perversion to work, that's when you get into trouble. Yeah, <laughs> right. But like if, if he was just, just a like foot w- guy, just get a girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of feet to look at. You know, online. Mm-hmm. Get pay. Yeah. Are yeah. you guys on Wicked Feet? Yeah, yeah, he is. You are, oh, are you not, dude? Are you not? No. Really? No, I've protected my Wiki feet. Oh, oh yeah. There's no pictures of your there feet. There could be online. a Streisand effect there. What do you mean? Like people are just going to go crazy when they do see your feet and it's going to be bigger than... Oh, What's my rating again? Tenet. Bigger than my whole career. Wow, you have a lot of photos up. Damn, you got 5,000... Oh, no. 5.3 out of 5, so... Oh! You're above a 5? Dude, you have great Broski. feet. Broski! Nice, it's like a nice thousand stems, percent. dude. Yeah, yeah, thanks, man. Wow. Yeah. i never seen a rating that high. You might be tops on the whole thing. People love the dogs. What can I say? Yep. See, that's those are Noel's strapped up. Bro, that's beautiful, dude. Yeah, mine... Mine are, yeah. mine are in the Foot Locker. <laughs> Damn, those, oh, those, those, are, nice those are beautiful. Oh dude. yeah. Do you lotion? I don't. You know, that's all. That's au naturel. Kid, you got some nice ocean? arches, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Man. Fucking. Yo, try not to be. I mean, yeah, whatever. It's all good. No matter what, it's all good. But that's sick. Wow, dude. You should send a pic to, oh boy. 
Yeah, you should mail him a photo and be like, fan, yo, just fan mail. Yeah, just be like, bro, before you lock it in forever, what what are we calling it? <laughs> Will we a four out of five? Where you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to know your opinion. Yeah, what if he wrote you back and just said, nice, five out of five? I feel pretty good. Yeah, I, I got confirmation. Yeah, from the man himself. Damn. What's write, next? Write a prisoner, change life. Well, he's not locked up yet. I wonder how much time they'll give him. Also, sorry to probably a lot because it says his his uh. Yeah, I guess dr- this is pretty dark. Houses, yeah. What does it say? Investigators said it's believed that Gonzalez's crimes were escalating in nature. Whoa, um, that's, a good sign. that's coming the shoe. Yeah, yeah, it's coming the shoe. Exactly. If it was just a foot fondle, how do you like arrest for that? Like, if that's the only thing he did as a cop, you're like, dude. You just can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Like, what What else can you say? Yeah, but with like a full SWAT team primary through the door. <laughs> break it down. Yeah. Get him. Pin him. <laughs> dude, and you then know, you're just like, dude, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't. You right, yeah. you Stop doing that. Out. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. Like, All right, I get it's it. Weird. I get it. Fine, Stop. fine. Let me go. <laughs> but they got him down. He's like grabbing for toes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Get off me, dude. dude. Fucking stop <laughs> doing that. It's yeah. weird. Dude, you're so weird. <laughs> He knows as they're barreling through the door, he's like, all right, all right, I'll stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll get on the ground near where your feet are, <laughs> not for any reason. <laughs> a good yeah. legal strategy. Yeah. Well, no, but it's fucking weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a good legal strategy is you get a judge that has a foot fetish. Oh. So the judge is like, well, kind of like, that was nice toes. <laughs> Can we see the feet in question? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, those are nice. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna take a recess. Uh, <laughs> let's, gonna, label, let's label that exhibit A plus. Yeah, those yeah. are good. Yeah. I'm gonna examine this evidence. Let me go back to my chamber. Two minute recess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's really tired. Yeah. tired. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal, right? Oh, uh, motion for judgment. Yeah. Come on. We're done here, boys. Superior Court of Merced requests all the jury's shoes. <laughs> Damn. He's the judge is like just pushing back. It's like, we're charging the the defendant with two counts of battery. He's like, is battery the right word? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did he hurt anyone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two counts of massaging. Yeah. <laughs> two counts of being misunderstood for this guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we're just not there yet as a culture, bro. Yeah. <laughs> But trust me, I see you. <laughs> you came into the right court. Yeah, <laughs> he just turns into the crowd. I think you're all just a bunch of judgmental assholes. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm I'm supposed to be the judge up here, but there's only the only judge I see in this room <laughs> is right here. Yeah. yeah, it should be a jury of your peers, twelve other feet perverts who are uh, like, no, I get it, I get it. Yeah. yeah. The judge is getting all horny. The guy's like, objection. He's like, sustained. <laughs> 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 Overruled. <laughs> oh. I've never understood the two terms. What does sustained mean? Does that make means it stands? Yeah. That's a good question. Objection sustained. Or does overruled mean like no, your objection is is dog shit? Sustaining the objection. Oh, oh. Yeah, it allows it. Yes. Allows yeah. the objection and excludes the evidence. Yeah, because sustained and overruled both sound like they're saying no <laughs> yeah. to yeah. the objector. Mm-hmm. And it always seems like that too in shows. Right. Sustained. You're yeah, like, yeah. oh, he doesn't like that. Sustained is a pretty great word for a case on self gratification. <clears throat> mm. Sustained. Nice. So stained. Oh, the stained. Yeah. Oh, no. Anyway. Oh, yeah, that I was think, a suspicious stain. Yeah. Right. I think we solved it. I think we solved it. Yeah. What's next? The world triathlon debacle. Hmm. This is pretty interesting. Work. <clears throat> At least 57 people fell ill with sickness and diarrhea after competing in sea swimming events at the World Triathlon Championship Series in Sunderland. Where is Sunderland? The United You're Kingdom. Not me with that. <laughs> Come on, dude. About 2,000 people participated in the events last weekend, <clears throat> which included a swim off Roker Beach. The UK Health Security Agency said it would be testing samples from those who were ill to establish the cause of the illness and any common pathogens. An environment agency sampling at Roker Beach on Wednesday, 20, uh, the 26th of July, three days before the event, showed 3,900 E. coli colonies per 100 mil more than 39 times higher than typical readings than the previous month. Damn. E. coli is a bacterial infection that can cause stomach pain and bloody diarrhea. Bummer. However, British Triathlon 
However, British Triathlon, the governing body for triathlons in Great Britain, said the agency's sampling results were not published until after the weekend's events and were outside the body of water where its competitions took place. It said its own testing results passed the required standards for the event. Was it really E. coli? Jacob Bertwistle, that's not a real name. <laughs> Jacob Bertwistle. Jacob Bertwistle, mm. 28, an Australian <laughs> athlete. <laughs> Posted the Environment Agency's results on Instagram and said he had felt unwell after the event. He wrote, have been feeling pretty rubbish since the race, but I guess that's what happens when you swim in shit. Dude, it's so funny thinking about all these guys like just explosive diarrhea on the on the bike uh, and the run. Yeah. Like it must have been everyone. How many people? 57 people? Yeah. How many people? Just completely shitting down their... Run. More than that. Way more than that, usually. So I feel like 57 is not that... No, 57 out of 2,000, it's not as heinous as I thought it was. But were they the top 57? Ah, that's the question. Was number 58 the one responsible for the shit water? <laughs> ah, that's a good point. Number 58 dumping loads of raw chicken into the ocean? Just <laughs> <laughs> or it just could be the guy in, in the lead that just shit himself yeah, shit in on the water. Yeah, shit And then everyone you. behind oh, wow. him got a mouthful of it. Oh, dude. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. oh fuck. <laughs> and then they get sick and shit into the. It's uh, like a, it's like a human centipede yeah, of. Yeah. Of, I would of respect coli. that they're as competitive as we are. Michael Jordan would do that if it would help. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you're saying he did it intentionally? Yeah, I'm saying he was in the lead. He's like, I don't want these guys to catch up. I'm gonna turn on all of them and slow them down. Yeah. Oh. I think that's it. I think I think you solved it. But here's no the thing. way. Well, here's what no you're way. not. Here's what you're not no thinking way. about though. <laughs> in a lot of these, they wear wetsuits. Uh, Mind you, it is the summer. In Sunderland, which I've England's heard is cold beautiful. Shit. England's cold as shit. Yeah. It's always old, overcast. Right. Oh, that guy's sexy. Yeah. Is, <laughs> is he who won? He's Australian. That's Bert that's Whistle. That's Bert Whistle. Oh, that's Jake Bert Whistle. Bert Whistle. I'm feeling pretty rubbish. <laughs> no, he's Australian. He's oh, he's Australian? Oi. 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 <laughs> I feel like shit, eh? I did an acting job where they had me do an Australian accent. It's horrible. Yeah, you bombed like, it? Oh, I want butter. Never heard anything after. It. <laughs> <laughs> Look, how'd that do? We lost it. <laughs> That's a hell of a requirement. Yeah, you lost the whole film. <clears throat> so who who won? Do we know who won this? Wasn't Bert Whistle? Because I'm curious. You know, if we check the winner's previous results, if they mysteriously have come 58th in other races, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And is Bert Whistle like? He's like, oh, I feel rubbish. But I guess that's what happens when you swim in shit. But sometimes you also just feel rubbish. Yeah. Mm. Like, are we sure he's even one of the shit water guys? Ah, that's a great question. Yeah, yeah, he did poorly and he I, just... I, he, I got an axe to grind against this Burt Whistle guy. The moment I heard his name, I didn't like him. I <laughs> want him to lose. His photo confirmed what I thought. I'm against him. <laughs> I, I agree. I think he's a liar. And I think he's he might be behind this whole thing. He's a drama queen. He wants the attention. I don't yeah. even think this happened. That's what I'm saying. I think he was like, he lost... Did he win or did he? No, he dumped in no his confirmation own bathtub he, and stuck his head in it. I think uh, he was like, "Oh man, I was sick. That's why I didn't get hurt." <laughs> right. And I heard like I talked to fifty-seven other guys on the course. They all said they were sick too. They're like, Who? "It's all a fucking lie." Yeah, Bert Whistle's making this whole thing. Bert up. Whistle made that shit up because he's embarrassed about his performance. Let's see where he's at on this list. Yeah, how Bert Whistle do? Not even in the top fucking ten. Pathetic. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god! Look at my wetsuit. There's Dookie all the way. Yeah, yeah. I, I swear, I swear to God. I swear to God. This is British. Right? Yeah, yeah. I swear to God, I swallowed yeah, yeah. a mouthful of <laughs> shit in the water. It Bro, like DNF. A, he didn't finish. DNF. He didn't even fucking finish. It looked like a That's, kangaroo. We came solved in it. My this pants. is it. He DNF'd, and then his it, people were like, what the fuck happened? Because he was a favorite. Yeah. I heard. <laughs> he was favored to win. Everyone thought he was going to get top spot. Exactly. Everyone did. With a name like Burt Whistle. His family, his friends, everybody flew into England for the event. Yeah. And he let them all down. Yeah. He, and he, he couldn't live with the shame. Yeah. Exactly. So he was like, dude, no, I don't know what happened. I was, yeah. I felt, I got sick. Yeah. Burt Whistle, DNF, definitely not feces. The like reason he, you lost. He doesn't, cr <laughs> he doesn't cross the finish line. They grab him. They're like, what's wrong? Burt was just like, oh no, someone pooped in the water. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It's not my fault. Someone crapped in the water, dude. I feel like shit. Everyone's like, oh, that's horrible, dude. <laughs> What, can, I, can I float a conspiracy theory here? Oh, yeah, yeah put a floater out there. Could man. this be? <laughs> yeah, okay. could, yeah. Nice, nice. could this be Big Iron Man coming in, oh. trying to dismantle triathlons? Oh. Big Iron Man. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, you know Big Iron Man. 
No, nothing. Are you an yeah. Iron Man guy oh. or a triathlon guy? Yeah. He just did Iron Man. Uh, Whoa. I don't know. Whoa. He, I don't know. He got the tattoo. Dude. Hold on around, now. Wait, around the same time Hold on now. that this happened. And when's Hold the last time you now. pooed? <laughs> wait a freaking Wait a freaking second. Are you actually Australian? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> what does Cody Code translate to an Australian? Jacob Burt whistle. <laughs> yeah. Wait. This is bullshit. Yeah. Tell us the truth, eh? <laughs> Why we translated you your name, <laughs> Mr. Burt whistle. Okay, it was me. So what's the goal? No more triathlons. Would have away with it too. If it wasn't for you pesky <laughs> kids. Yeah. Just tell us one thing, son. Where'd you find the loads of shit? I made them. That was all your shit? <laughs> Impossible. No, no, Too much for shit me. for the human to produce. <laughs> Who's funding your operation? <laughs> it wasn't me. I'm not Jacob Burtwistle. I'm on your team. Wow. Tell us the truth. You you lie again. I'm, w I'm with you guys. I'm on your team. Right. Wait a second. It wasn't me. I believe him. I believe you. I swear to God. Dude, I'm sorry we came down Hold to you like on that. A then. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Whoa. Dude, it was you, dude. Oh, fuck. Yeah. It was me. It was for you fucking pesky <laughs> kid. Fucking motherfucker. It was you, man. dude. I'm sweating, dude. I was in the hot seat. Dude, I'm sorry. Second, and I'm yeah. sweating. Yo, yo. Uh, uh, oh, fuck. Gianluca got DNS, did not shit. <laughs> <laughs> What a loser, dude. That's all he cares about. He's like, yeah, whatever happens here, I didn't shit. He's just mad embarrassed. <laughs> DSQ. Actually, did not start as hard as fuck. Yeah. That's hard as hell. He's like, I see shit in the water. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Oh, there's man. poop out there. Look at that. I see a turd right there. It's there's in there, no way bro. I'm getting in the water. I'm not even starting this Y'all think I'm fucking crazy, dude. Iron Man put shit right <laughs> yeah, in there. Yeah, fuck yeah, y'all, man. I'm not even going, bro. <laughs> yeah. And then wait, go back? To the results, what's DN DSQ disqualified? Oh, that oh. is hell. Hold on now. Wait, why was he disqualified? Yeah, how do you get disqualified? Oh, the whoa. Maybe, <laughs> he, maybe he was not pooping, in the not, water. <laughs> dude. He brings like an electric motocross bike for the bike section. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a wave runner. On the water. Yeah. <laughs> 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 They're like, yo, bro. <laughs> this race is fun as fuck. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I told you I almost got disqualified for mine. For Iron Man? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. I, I took my camera out and I started filming. Oh really? Yeah, like vlog style on the bike. Yeah. And because uh, I talked to the media director before, and he knew that I was like planning on filming stuff, and it's like good promo for them, so they were like, "Yeah, sure, go for it." He's like, "I'll tell all the referees." Yeah. Because on the bike they have guys like cruising up and down the street on motorcycles just make sure you're making sure that you're not like drafting or like that you're not breaking any rules and so i i like but i was still nervous even though i the guy told me that he would have told all the refs i was still nervous to bring it out because i was like i feel like an idiot like mm -hmm. youtuber like you know what's up guys so finally i like find a place that's it feels like i'm like i got distance from two other bikers they can't really see me there's no refs around so i take out my phone and I start filming, and I'm like, oh, I'm on mile 10. And then ee, I just hear this ref pull up, and he's like, what are you doing? Really? Yeah. And it was in Australia. Wow. And I was like, oh, nothing. And I put my phone back. He's like, were you just using your phone? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And he was like, why? And I was like, I'm, fil I'm a filming myself. I'm a YouTuber. I'm like filming the whole thing. And he was like, sure. Wow. Wait, so they just like, why would you not be allowed to be on your phone? Because they just want you to be like in the moment? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah it's just a vibe. It's thing. like a spiritual thing. Yeah, 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 yeah it's just, just a vibe. Bro, thing. just be present. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can no, cheat. it's because you can cheat. Basically, like you can, you can call people and be like, "Hey, bring me some supplies." You're not allowed to do that. Uh, um, you could also like, you know, map it. I don't know. You're supposed to have. You're supposed to be on the same level as everyone else. Like no advantages. They catch you watching a David Goggins video. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. like, Dude, yeah. That, hey, that, no that, extra that, motivation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chill out with that. <clears throat> Stay hard. No, who? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. So how how long does that take? What was your time? Thirteen hours. Wow, yeah. it's that long. Yeah. Was this an ultra thing? No, just an Ironman. Ironman. Wow. Yeah. So what do we think, fellas? We think this is big Ironman trying to. Shut down the triathlon, or we think we think someone just pooped in the water. I think it was Jacob Burt whistle, and I think I think it had to have been him. Hilarious that this is a legitimate thing for him, and he's very upset. 
And we're just here like, yeah, no, you did it, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There he <laughs> is. Oh, look at him. Yeah, yeah that guy, that <laughs> looks like a guy who shits. Yeah, yeah dude, poor they Bert up Whistle. Your fucking headshot and everything on this podcast. They, they said just... you take big shits. <laughs> they say you take, like, <laughs> lots of shits and you poison the race. They said you made 57 people ill. <laughs> well, he brought it on himself. I mean, to quote him, that's what happens when you swim in shit. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. true. Yeah. To quote him, I'm the one who did it. I shit in the water and made all those people <laughs> sick. <laughs> Our lawyers are freaking out right now. Yeah. Our lawyers are going nuts, man. <laughs> like, stop it. Yeah, dude. <clears throat> Jacob, we're just messing around. Although It'd be great this... to have Jacob on to defend himself. We should have him on with the feet fondler and kind of let them chat it out. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay, cool. And yeah. we're way nicer to the feet fondler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Disguise the man. You not so much. Shut yeah. up, Jacob. Yeah. Yeah. Shut your mouth, <laughs> shitty boy. <You> weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> we know you put all those fucking turds in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, turd boy. Yeah, yeah turd boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Turd athlon. Dude, them, <laughs> That's what you did. Them sitting together, that'd be such a funny <laughs> pairing. They're just, yeah. why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> damn you guys tanked my career <laughs> uh, case damn. closed good case work. closed good work gentlemen solved another one yeah dude <laughs> nice. that was sick. that's pop um, what's next should we do fishing for coke uh yeah sounds like my Friday night this really feels like a group project like <laughs> I can't get over it um yeah for sure Fishing for Coke. Why don't you go ahead and take this one away? Sure, would love to. This one's right up my alley. Triathlons and cocaine? No, I mean, this is my day. Let me get started with this story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The family... Oh, this one's called... Wait. Uh, okay, sorry. This happened in July of 2023 in Florida. The so this case year. status open. Oh. Not for long. The family had been fishing for mahi-mahi when they spotted a large black object in the water. What? What's funny? Castor, who spent 31 years working for the Tampa Police Department, immediately identified the plastic-wrapped package as cocaine. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Yo, that's coke. I'll recognize that anywhere. <laughs> the family hauled their catch on board, cut through the wrappings, and found more than $1 million worth of drugs inside. <laughs> Dude. Another crazy thing to know, dude. That's at least at least a million bucks. <laughs> so, I mean, we already know what happened. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yo, there's coke. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Whoa, yeah, yeah. The seventy pound haul was taken ashore, where it was handed over to federal agents. Dumb. <laughs> like so yeah, dumb, so stupid. How dumb can you be? Yeah. <laughs> we gotta give this. We gotta give this to somebody. Yeah. Keep it. What are you, Burt Whistle? Come yeah. on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Case closed. My man is yeah. catching strays. <laughs> Earlier in July, boaters stumbled across 62 pounds of cocaine Ooh. and 87 pounds of hashish near the Florida Keys, Ooh. according to Border Patrol report. Was it really found by the mayor? If so, where are the drugs coming from? As for the mayor and her family, the white male they caught and released into custody was nearly matched in size by the amount of lobsters they brought in, about 60. Huh. Very interesting last paragraph. Hmm. Dude, can you imagine them? They're on the line. They're like, "Oh my god, this is for, oh, it's fighting me." And he comes up. You're like, "It's cocaine." It's <laughs> yeah, 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 just a fucking. You take a photo with it, like it's a fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's seventy <laughs> inches. Catch and release. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, we got to put it back in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a fish like Holy this before, shit, dude. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, he's like, it's a huge fish. And some guy's like, "Wait," takes a knife. He like stabs. He's like. That's coke. Oh, a million dollars. He's like, dude, I'm going to throw it back in the water. He's like, no, I'm going to put it up on my wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's coke I caught. <laughs> yeah. This is cocaine I got. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your friends come over who are fiending. They're like, yeah, well, I'm going to just touch it. <laughs> Trophy cocaine. Dude, this is like the modern day gold rush. Yeah. So you just go out to the Gulf of Mexico and you can find. Yeah, there's coke in them waters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can just go out there with a panhandle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was a family. Yeah. That is funny to think of one of the, you know, like there's, 
the family is like the parents, the daughter, and maybe like a 23 year old son. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, <laughs> yeah. The coat oh. runs up and they're all like standing there and he's yeah. like, you know, they're like, we got to give it back. And he's like, well, we don't, I mean, not, we don't have to give it, like, not now. Yo, chill, Maritime. We have what the time? fuck are you guys talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom, crazy idea. What if we held on to it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of us should test it to make sure. I mean, didn't didn't we bring the Yukon? Like it would fit. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that really is wild. Seventy pounds of coke. You keeping it? You find it? What do you guys think? I give some back and I hold on to some. You think? Well, I well, it's also that sketch thing where it's like, do do people just lose sixty two kilos of coke? That would be the right. part that I'd be concerned about. That's why you got to snort it right away destroy the evidence yeah, yeah, yeah. just get rid of all. just have to and then do a nine week boat trip <laughs> mom dad no one can know we found this we have to do it all yeah, yeah. <laughs> imagine doing 70 pounds of coke you'd have to be pretty strong yeah imagine yeah what are you on ozempic yeah, <laughs> yeah. better dude yeah. yeah i've been deep sea fishing <laughs> Dude, do you think they like um so funny you do all this coke, you come back with like fifty seven thousand tunas? Yeah. <laughs> There's like no tuna left, dude. Like, oh, we wiped them out. out there. <laughs> we wiped them out. Yeah, yeah. They're I've gone, never, dude. I've never fished harder than that. <laughs> yeah. Spear fish them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back with a killer whale in your boat. Yeah. I don't know, man. She got wild out there. <laughs> You're hauling it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a beached whale. Some people come over. Oh, no, a beached whale. No, 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 no. I brought this in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> he catches it and he flies off the seat. He's like, no. he's like, hold on. I'll be back. <laughs> he swims back. He's like, I got it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, bro. We wiped, we wiped him out. <laughs> Just motor mouth talking to the tune after you catch it. You're like, bro, that was insane, dude. The way I got you right there, dude. You were fighting me for like an hour, but I just kept ripping on you, dude. And by the end, it was just it was you or me, dude. I had to get you in the boat, dude. It was just you or me, dude. You know how it is. It just had to get you. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's funny. <laughs> motor mouth? Yeah, just like, yeah, 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 yeah. I've never heard that term. That's Brother. funny. <laughs> Brother, it was you or me, dude. What yeah. was that to get you? I got you. Dude, what's it like living in the ocean, man? <laughs> Is that like crazy? It's is that fucking crazy? crazy? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. You, you know how they kill the fish when they bring it on board? They like whack it. You yeah. know, he just grabs it. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, yeah, bare fisted. <laughs> yeah. Wham! Yeah, just fucking. <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> Damn, dude. Uh, Did we solve this? <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing I'm afraid of. I don't think the case is over. I think there's someone looking for their coke. Yeah. Well, weren't there? Weren't there like coke sharks? Whoa. Sharks ingesting coke and uh. Oh, the butterfly. Is that a picture of it? This oh, we had the same dealer there. nearby. <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah, this is Coco picked up in the same area. That's pretty. Oh, that's my boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. that's Surge. I know that guy. I know that branding. <laughs> um. So what? But what is the mystery of this case? Yeah, because I'm trying to wait. How was the mayor involved? Was it the mayor's family? The mayor was kept secret um, initially, so they just said a boater, and then it came out that it was the mayor that found it. That's of, what makes it suspicious, is that it was the Florida mayor. Of the Florida Keys? Um, of a city. It should be Tampa. Tampa. Oh. F well, dude, no, no, no. It was definitely them. What if, okay, what if the- For sure. What if the mayor found it? Family's like, what is, oh, what is this? Everyone shut up right now. Calls the head of the police department. Bro, I just came up huge. I need you to meet me and just keep it quiet. So the head of the police department's like, okay, cool. Comes, they get to shore, tries to pull off the boat. The mayor, the head of the police department is like, bro, I can't. Mayor's like, come on, don't say shit. Yeah, yeah. Can, can I just say, too, it's the mayor of Tampa. Yeah. If it was the mayor of Bentonville, yeah. Maybe Bentonville's not a good one, but like mayor of like Boise, I'd be like, yeah, you know, but the mayor of Tampa. Yeah. It's a shady think, place. Yeah. You don't think this woman has done ounces of Coke in her I really day? don't. She kind of looks square. Okay, so wait, so but what's up with the white male they caught and released into custody? <laughs> what's up with that? Caught and released. I left the note in because uh, they were fishing times. for lobsters. Like hold on, hold on. Dangerous. Uh, I just left the note in because I thought you'd like that they were fishing for lobsters. But also to be clear, it's white whale. Yeah, white whale. The white whale. White oh. whale. White whale. Oh, dude, you're oh. <laughs> what are, what's wrong oh, with yeah, me? Are oh, dying. what's wrong with me? Yeah. Jesus Christ! Why did you assume it was a white male? 
<laughs> I don't it was know. a white whale. <laughs> yeah, what's the mayor's name? Jane. I think this is the case. I think what happened here, they found they didn't find 70 pounds. Yeah. They found 140 pounds. Ooh. She calls the police. That's he? Yeah, that's what yes, I'm saying. Yes, exactly. She says, listen, let's split this in half. It's a great come up for me. You know, we can sell this or do it. Yeah. Right? But then it's also, it's a great headline for you. 70 pound haul. You get to take a picture with the drugs. Right. Everyone's a hero. Right. Meanwhile, the cartel guys are pissed probably. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe, I don't know if that, yeah. That's, I, or I, I, can, I, can, for- I can add to it. <clears throat> okay. The missing half is in her ass. Okay. Along yeah. with the diamond from the first store. <laughs> Whoa. Jane has a huge ass. <laughs> a huge ass. The mayor just and you got pulled. your diamond all the way up it. <laughs> she just pulls her face off and she's Steinmetz. Yeah. <laughs> Steinmetz pulls it's Al Pacino. Yeah. <laughs> Me the whole time. I also when's re election coming up in Tampa? Oh, because okay. like, let's say you already have the drugs, but then the mayor wants some good PR because people don't trust her right now. Right. So then she finds 70 kilos of coke, which any ordinary person would hold on to make some money off of. She gives it right back to the city. All of a sudden, everyone's like, this is someone I can trust. Oh. But the whole thing was concocted from the jump. Yeah, I like that. I like, I like that. that. Wait, zoom in. I think I see a butterfly tattoo. Whoa. Oh, whoa. What if she had that tab like right here? Oh, dude. No way. That'd be crazy. The logo. <laughs> Dude, if, if I were a voter Or a little there, butterfly pin right here. If yeah. I were a voter there and I heard this story, I'd be like, she's a fucking square, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Vote in Carl. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> he would have done it. Carl would have done the coke. <laughs> Carl. Man, she's kind of- Carl kinda, doesn't even know he's running. She kind of got a gaze about her. You know what? I think she did do that coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's seen some- She things. seems edgy, man. Yeah. <clears throat> Definitely. This dude is such Mayor election was held on March seventh, twenty three. What are the fucking odds that the mayor goes out fishing and finds seventy pounds of coke? You think she was like, Man, my city fucking rules. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I picked the right city. This yeah. shit owns. Yeah, it's her first term. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was just like, Maybe I I was thinking about running. I don't know if I'd win and she just clutches it. Like, wow, I guess the people like and then Oh, fuck. <laughs> let's let's go. fucking go man i knew that was the right decision also how big is her boat that it can fit 60 lobsters a white whale <laughs> and 62 pounds of coke and 87 pounds yeah, of hashish. Mayors don't get paid that much yeah, yeah that's a gigantic boat that's a good tell what is this like a hundred foot bertram she's getting Whoa. money from elsewhere you know i think the cartel might be uh you know, puffing up her pockets a little. She's bit. on the payroll. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's on the payroll. Yeah, I think I think we cracked it. Yeah. It was uh it was Bert Whistle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's um, next? <laughs> Damn, I was thinking tr- I was trying to think of some shitty pun about you know, like the cocaine magically appearing. Like she always thought it was there a butterfly effect, something. I don't know. Oh, nice. oh. So something, you know, whatever. Nice. Well, it could cross over into other things like Bert Whistle does the coke, he poops out the cocaine, it actually makes the racers behind him faster, uh, and he loses again trying to win. Yeah. Mm. And then foot guys. Maybe that getting, wasn't it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> might not be it, dude. No, I think that, that was it, man. No, that was it. No, you nailed it. No, you nailed it. Come on, look look to the crowd. Come on. <laughs> and then foot guys breaking into the PT tent. Yeah. Like, Hold on, let me go. I do like the oh, foot guy's sh- been our favorite person so far. The only person we haven't been suspicious of is foot guy. We're yeah, like, no, yeah. he's all right. <laughs> he's, he's a straight shooter. Arrested for the crime. Yeah, yeah. 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 But the mayor and Burt Whistle currently. were like, they're no scum, dude. Yeah. Scumbags. Yeah, that's the case. <laughs> that guy's a straight shooter. He knows what he's like. got the wrong guy. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Um, should we wrap up the regulation? Yeah. Hour. Yeah. And move on into bonus. Yeah, we can go into OT. Overtime. Let's do it. OT. Down for some OT. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, you want to wrap it up in the in the voice? In the voice. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for listening to this riveting series of crimes against humanity. Uh, you can follow Jad- Chad and JT on everything. Almost, almost blend you guys together, Jad. Yeah, Jad. Jad. Whoa, yeah, dude. I mentally almost did that. Jad Tad. Um, yeah. Follow Chad and JT on literally everything, individually and together. They do lots of great stuff, individually and together. 
Um, yeah, and they're going to join us in overtime for who knows what. What what are we covering in the overtime? We got uh, Circleville Poison Pen Letters, the Bogle Chandler case. Wait, wait, wait which one's what's that? Go up again. Oh, that that's about a couple dying while having sex. That's going to be good in Australia, <clears throat> of all places. Yeah, that's going to be great. God damn, they're so hot over there. <laughs> All right, everyone. <laughs> Nothing. Um, it's just in a very Australian way to die. Fucking That's on the sex. beach. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We are having sex on the guard cars. <laughs> <laughs> having sex. Sex on the guard cars. I'm having sex. Did you burst? Dorgan style. Did you burst? Burst. <laughs> Did you burst? burst. <laughs> Did you burst? <laughs> Did you burst? Uh yeah mate so uh yeah mate well, that's it for the episode mate yeah we'll see you there yeah can't say that on you YouTube mate YouTube yeah YouTube goodbye I just bleep it coming up in the special extended version cool oh, that's a new fear thank you yeah no problem man I will never enjoy another pool ever again in my yeah. life <laughs> <laughs> this fucking boy wrote this t- pathology report dude nah so, he was definitely fucking basically Bogle nutted. Margaret tells her husband I wanna fuck him and he goes go for it which is crazy your work boyfriend Bogle's yeah, the you should man yeah. you should yeah, yeah. totally take that yeah. dude for a ride see it all only on tmgstudios.tv sign up today